Hey there, YouTube. Uh, this is Vargas, recording live from the Vargas workbench. And um, I got a little bit of free time right now, so I just want to talk about a project that I want to do. I actually have a lot of projects I want to get to. The problem that I have is time. Uh, I don't have as much time to actually uh, build stuff. Uh, and it's something I actually find myself talk, uh, mentioning a lot in recent videos. Uh, I still have a storyline I need to get to. I just need time to sit down and do it. <coughs> I still have like 20 projects I want to do uh, that I haven't been able to get to. But this is one I wanted to get to first. Now, <coughs> I want to reintroduce everyone to my Necronomicon. <coughs> this is a build I did a while ago. Super happy how it turned out. There's the back. And uh, it's just a notebook that I found. And it uh, still has some writing there. There's a couple of pages I need to cut off. But uh, it's just a notebook, plain old notebook, that um, I put a plain old cereal box, uh, cut it into a couple of pieces, and then just gave it a coat of... Uh, white glue uh, with some painted napkins so it's a video that I, I saw on uh, YouTube a lot a couple of people did it with with latex and stuff like that I did it with just uh, white glue and uh, acrylic paint and a uh, hot gun uh, to make the face but if you want to see that video it's in my channel but I really like how this turned out uh, Actually, a, a friend of mine, a Clowny Nerf from YouTube, uh, saw this and he said he wants a Necronomicon for himself because he actually has the pages. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't actually gotten to draw anything here, but he actually has been working on a Necronomicon for a while now, and his is, his interior uh, is super cool because it's written in Elder Elder Futhark. And uh, he's really a really good artist, so he has these really cool drawings. Uh, he just said he uh, left it there, but he wants to get back to it and, you know, have a face. So uh, I'm still trying to convince him to send me which face he wants. Because the Necronomicon has a bunch of different uh, versions. I just went with the one with the face and the eyes, but uh, there's a, a, a few more complicated. Uh, the, uh, one really, really basic, which just has stitches. From the Evil Dead remake, which I didn't much care for, but but yeah, but I want to practice. Uh, I want to practice before I make uh, his Necronomicon uh, cover. And while I am happy with how this turned out, because he, the, the, all the crevices make this thing look like skin, um, I want to practice a little bit more. So I want to be pumping ne Necronomicons left and right. Uh, so I'm going to work on since I only have this, the Necronomicon, I want to work. On the sister book. Now, I consider this the sister book to the Necronomicon. And this is the uh, spell book from Hocus Pocus. The reason why I consider it a sister book to the Necronomicon Ex Mortis is because it also looks like it's, um, like it's bound in human skin. Uh, while not technically a horror movie, a Hocus Pocus does have uh, some horror elements, especially the beginning where uh, the Sanderson sisters suck the life force out of a kid, and it's pretty much implied that she's dead. And then they curse this other kid into immortality, but as a cat. So uh, it, it does have some pretty messed up things. It's uh, As a horror introduction, I do like to mention that on the same breath as a Return to Oz. If you want to get young kids to horror, that's a nice... Those two movies are nice, uh, and Monster Squad and Gremlins. Uh, those are nice, safe movies to get people into horror, uh, so they don't freak out and get traumatized. And, but I watched horror movies, and I'm perfectly fine, says the man to the psychiatrist and the lawyer. But anyway, um, yeah, I, I, I've always considered this uh, the sister book to the Necronomicon Ex Mortis, because uh, also, uh, the Sanderson sisters sold their soul to get the book so they can get uh, magical power, so... Uh, and it, it it completely is a Necronomicon. I mean, look at it. It has it, it looks like it's bound in human skin with stitches. It has an eye that blinks. Uh, 
Let me get... Come on. Uh, it has fingers. Uh, these are fingers on on the on the side. So this thing it, it's an Economicon, but it's the like the I consider it like the female version to the uh, X Mortis. So uh, I want to build this. This is something I want to build. The Necronomicon X Mortis. Uh, the only reason it took a little bit longer is because I I had to wait for everything to dry. But I'm gonna do the same thing. I am going to use some napkin, uh, just some regular tissue paper, uh, because I want to get the stitching here a little bit more fine. Uh, I'm going to use a smaller glue gun uh, and just some basic white glue, uh, as well as another cereal box. Uh, I actually like how the cereal box uh, turned out. Uh, it's it's again. I mentioned this before, I don't want to butcher a book. Uh, I do believe that all books, any books, have uh, a certain power, a certain uh, allure, because they, even even if it's a lame book, the lamest book you can think of, uh, that still imparted something to someone. So I'm not a fan uh, of the idea of butchering a book. A notebook, however... That's totally different. Uh, notebooks are, you know, meant to be write, written on, and grimoires uh, or spell books uh, are precisely that. Uh, they are spell books that people write uh, and uh, magic spells or basic info or anything you want to do. So that's why I'm going to go with a notebook. However, the uh, Hocus Pocus spell book uh, is a lot thicker than the Necronomicon Ex Mortis. The Necronomicon Ex Mortis is a a uh, small book. So it's something that was probably written by a madman uh, that killed a couple of people to take their skin and use their blood to, you know, write the books. But it's it's a relatively small book. Even in the Evil Dead uh, series, it's it's a small book. Uh, this thing, however, is thicker. It, it looks a lot thicker. Uh, this is actually a video that I saw of someone else doing uh, their Hocus Pocus. So I'm going to take a couple of ideas that they did, because what they did in this video, and I'll put a link in the description, is they actually put a magnet here so that the and some um, uh, some other stuff so that the, this thing latches and it seals with the magnet. So I want to see if I can get a magnet, uh, and then they sh they show how to do the snakes and everything. Because I was just going to use foam and hot glue, uh, but I might do some uh, something based on that. But basically, I'm just going to use the same technique that I used for the Necronomicon Ex Mortis on this thing. I'm going to just uh, cut the cardboard a little thicker. I want to see if I can get one of those um, 100 pagers. Uh, well, actually, they're, they're probably... I think this is a 100 pager. But uh, I want to see if I can get one of those really thick notebooks. And uh, make this, this one. Because this one's supposed to be a lot thicker than the Necronomicon. Uh, so let me just get the cardboard ready, and I'll show you how I'm going to do uh, these patterns here. So, be right back. Okay, so um, what I did is that I, I cut that cardboard through the middle, and then added the spine, and then brought it all together with some, some tape, some tuck, uh, mask and tape, and just... Uh, put a couple of strips like so, and then seal it all like so. Now, you know, if you have a really good job and a lot of disposable income, um, you could buy better, you know, materials. Uh, you can buy way better materials than a cereal box. Um, I, I, while I do have a job, it doesn't pay that much money, and I have a family to feed. So, when I'm doing this, I find for the cheapest alternative, and this is the cheapest thing you can get, cereal box with masking tape. But, you know, when you're in a budget and you want to make cool stuff, you find a way. And uh, I guess that's also another purpose of showing you these things that you can do on a budget. So money should technically not be that uh, much of an issue. If you, where there's a will, there's a way, they say. And I have the will, I just... You know, have to find the way. So with this spine, um, it'll look like that, like so. So it'll be a much thicker 
uh, bind than the Necronomicon. I'm actually a little worried that it's going to be too thick. I maybe should have cut off a piece. I could still make it slightly thinner. I don't, I don't want the spine to be this small, but I don't want it to be bigger than the notebook that I'm going to get. But I'll, I'll cross that bridge when I actually get to it. Um, cause I recently watched the movie again, which is what oh, I, I was inspired to make the uh, spell book. I think I am going to have to cut off a little piece here, this line here, because I don't want it to be too thick. So it might not fit the binder, but, you know, uh, I just have to take off the tape and do that, but uh, that's going to be the, the thing. That, uh, next time you see me, I'm going to draw the stitches on this thing, and then I am going to start um, doing uh, the texture, so I'll see you then. Okay, so like I mentioned, it's just a cereal box. Uh, I actually used a Next Nesquik cereal box uh, to make the temporary cover. Uh, this is literally the same uh, leftover cereal box cardboard that I used for the Necronomicon Ex Mortis. So this will literally be uh, a sister book to the Necronomicon Ex Mortis. They, they were bound by the same madman and uh, using the same material so very appropriate it's, it's literally going to be uh, the sister book of the Necronomicon so let me just get to cutting this up because I, I like I said I want to make a thicker spine so I'm going to use this piece like so uh, to make uh, this book so give me a sec okay so um, I did decide to cut down the spine a bit more uh, it was a bit a bit too thick, I thought, so I just cut it down, uh, retaped it, uh, taped it on the back to try to give it a little bit more support. Uh, it, it will have enough support, I hope, when I put the layers of uh, tissue paper with the uh, white glue and water combination. But I do want it do want to leave something that so the spine won't be too weak. Uh, other thing I did is that I drew the lines for the stitches. Now, unlike the Necronomicon I made, uh, where I, I just uh, put hot glue on the face area and then on these veins that I wanted to leave uh, in the book, what I'm going to do with uh, this one is that I'm going to a glue a coat of silicon on the outside like so and I'm gonna uh, put another uh, coat of silicon on the inside and what I'm hoping this will do because uh, I hope it works is that it will create a line uh, for the stitching uh, it won't be noticeable well it will be very noticeable at first when I have the the silicon on the on the cardboard but as I'm a adding the skin uh, this I'm hoping will kind of dilute but I do want to have that that line in the middle which I'll then use to create the stitching uh, next thing I need to do or before I get to work on the actual skin thing or I could I suppose I could do it on the second layer of skin but I need to get an eye that will go here in the middle uh, that eye, of course, is uh, symbolic of the uh, Hocus Pocus spellbook. So I also need to get some fingers uh, for the spine here. And I couldn't find any pictures of the book from the back. So I'm going to freestyle it and see how what I do to uh, design the back. But yeah, uh, I'm going to get into hot glue again. I'll see you then. Okay, so I just finished the hot glue. It's not as noticeable as um, you might think uh, I just like I said put uh, some silicon here 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 because well, what I want to do is I wanted to make a ridge uh, so that when as I'm putting the skin this little ridge will uh, stay and uh, when I pin it black it uh, it will go inside and you know allow me to make the stitches so next thing uh, you need to do is um, 
put the layer skin. And uh, I don't want to repeat myself because this part I've already done, but anyone that hasn't seen the last video, all you have to do is uh, take a couple of tissues, paper tissues like so. Uh, in the Necronomicon, I actually cut it in pieces and then put it in there. This one, I want to have a more uh, solid skin type, so I'm just going to use the whole thing. And what you do is that uh, you put a, 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 a dab of white glue with water. It has to be combined so it, it, it doesn't get all sticky and it's nice and you know wet. And then you put in the tissue paper and the tissue paper what it'll do is it'll, it'll absorb the water and glue. And then you want to put another bit more here so this one gets nice and wet. And it will naturally uh, wrinkle. And as you put in capes it will just make it a little, this thing a little bit more sturdier. And it will wrinkle and it will create the skin effect that I want to go for. So uh, I'll do that and we'll be back with the uh, decoration. Okay, so I finished the coat of um, tissue paper with the white glue and water mixture. Uh, if you do that, that combination, try to put a little bit more glue than water uh, or 50-50. Uh, but don't put more water than glue because what's going to happen is that the napkins are going to get too wet and you don't want wet napkins because then the humidity is going to get in there and then it's going to take longer to dry. But if you use 50-50 white glue and 50% um, uh, white glue, 50% water or even 60% white glue, 40% water, uh, you'll get some good results. It'll dry faster and you'll get a good enough uh, adhesion and a good seal uh, on the thing and as you can already see uh, you have your texture lines as if it were uh, skin which is what it's supposed to be and you really want to press it down uh, on these uh, stitcher lines that I created otherwise uh, it, you're gonna lose the effect and I don't, I don't personally I don't want to do that <laughs> uh, you can still fix it like the ne with the Necronomicon once I start getting a couple of coats inside uh, of it, I had to just uh, put another layer of hot glue, which is maybe what I'll have to do here. I'm going to wait for it to dry. Uh, before I give it one last coat of, of tissue paper, I do want to put an eye. The eye goes here and it goes nylon. I just have to pop in an eye there, put the coat of tissue that I need. Uh, see how this dries? I put three coats uh, here, so there's three coats of tissue paper with the white glue mixture and I want to see how it dries uh, I'll put the eye put a layer of tissue paper there and if it needs it I'll put one more uh, all around before the next step which is painting it, painting it black uh, I'm going to paint it black because I do want that black surface to to be there before I paint it skin and then I'm just going to paint it brown and red to give it that uh, old skin color but work in process, I'll keep you posted. Okay, so this is what I have so far. Um, I painted it, painted it brown with a mixture of uh, red. Uh, it's red, that skin color used for the Necronomicon, and brown. And I tried to get the dark, you know, skin color, and I, I think it, it worked out. Uh, this one in the movie doesn't look as grimy as the Necronomicon, uh, so I think I'm going to leave it like that. I might maybe just dab it with uh, a couple of drops of black paint, but uh, did that, finish the eye, uh, focus, there we go, finish the eye with its eyelids, uh, made the snakes, uh, made the snakes the cheapest way that I could think of. Uh, and that was with newspaper. Just uh, grab a page of newspaper and, uh, you know, rolled it up. Uh, I thought of, put, I had this brilliant idea of putting some, um, some hot glue, silicon, uh, in the middle. Just to give it something to work with. But that actually <laughs> didn't work out so well. Because it made doing the... Uh, the folding of these things kind of hard because I may, had to make two uh, so that was kind of hard but uh, you know live and learn and next time if I do this again I won't use uh, I won't put silicon in 
the the middle of the newspaper. So I designed the snakes. Uh, this is uh, Play-Doh. I used Play-Doh for the snake's head. And I uh, just molded them to the shape I needed. And I uh, used, uh, I bought another a bit of that um, puffy, puffy paint to actually uh, do the stitches. Uh, I bought green, and I thought green would work well for this. Makes it kind of, makes the stitches kind of pop out. And, you know, they're supposed to be rotting away, and I thought that gave it an extra look. And I just gave it a coat of this paint I bought. Uh, paint sealer. It's a uh, car paint sealer, so I think it'll work well for this. Uh, it makes so far it's making it look shiny, but uh, it gave it these uh, brown dots that I'm not a fan of. But again, I'll leave them there because it gives the book character. So yeah, all I need to do is wait for that to dry up a bit more. Um, on the sides, there's supposed to be fingers, so I need to see if I can find some fingers, uh, to stick in there. And on the back, uh, not too much detail I want to put. Uh, I just want to showcase the front, not so much the back, but I will put, uh, some detailing here on the back. And the only thing I need to do is add the hinge that goes here, and I'm already working on that. So... Uh, next video, I, uh, next part of this video that I share will be the finished product. Hey there, guys. So um, I decided to make a video on this side of the camera for my reveal of the uh, book that I've been working on. So uh, this is the book that I showed you guys before. Uh, this is the uh, the camera there, uh, the Necronomicon I built. Uh, just a little update on this one, uh, same other thing, the only thing I did is that I added a couple of white pages, because uh, I want to make some drawings, and uh, I added some artwork. Uh, some artwork there, artwork there, uh, artwork there, and... Uh, Added some some artwork for from the uh, new Evil Dead. This is the Evil Dead remake, and some artwork there. So yeah, I just added that to give it uh, to the, give my Necronomicon a little bit more of an oomph. Uh, I did leave a couple of pages uh, white because I wanted some. If I can uh, figure out a way to get some time to draw something, I want to draw draw something here. But, like I said, I, I just wanted to add some little touches uh, to my Necronomicon uh, to make it, you know, a bit more uh, more accurate to, to the uh, Evil Dead series, I guess. So, yeah, uh, have, really happy how this turned out. Really, really glad uh, that it turned out as good as it did. Uh, so that's, that's pretty cool. And, uh, so that's an update on that, and this is the final reveal of my Hocus Pocus, uh, spellbook. Uh, this is the final product. Uh, this, uh, from the last video, uh, I did, I added the, uh, spine here, the, the lock thing here to keep it sealed. Um, also weathered it down a bit, uh, used to... Some watered down black paint to weather down the look of it. I, I was debating whether or not to do that because I I like I liked how it looked, but uh, after doing it, I don't know if the camera will pick it up. Uh, but uh, I like how it looks a little bit more beaten up now. Uh, wasn't that hard one after doing the the Necronomicon? I, I I got a better idea of of how to make the the skin look. Uh, everything looks wrinkly. Uh, this is just uh, hot glue silicon. Uh, this is a piece of textured cardboard. Cardboard painted black then with uh, silver acrylic paint. Uh, this is also the base of silicon and I just added some texture here. This is made out of clay. Uh, this is made out of clay. This is also uh, uh, rolled up newspaper actually. This is rolled up newspaper. The eye, 
I got from one of those uh, Kinder Surprise Pops. That I painted white with the eyebrow, and then I just made the thing. And this is just cardboard that I did. Um, I tried to make this hinge thing as functional as I possibly could. What I did is that uh, I added an extra piece of cardboard here with a slight little uh, spot there so I can just... The idea is to add more pages so that uh, it's a lot more thicker because in the movie Hocus Pocus, uh, this, is, this is a really thick grimoire uh, or spell book. Uh, in the Evil Dead series, the Necronomicon is about this size. Um, so that turned out okay, but... Uh, in Hocus Pocus, it's a really thick grimoire, uh, so I still need to add a couple more pages, but that's, uh, it, it logs in whenever it wants to, I, I don't know if I should add a little bit more cardboard or hot glue to keep it, because it keeps, it, it, it keeps doing that, which is annoying, so I either have to add more, uh, more pages, or, uh, figure out a way to make this thing stick out a bit more and, and do it like that. But I did add a couple of pages. I bought a, a spiral notebook and then just bound the pages myself, cut them up a bit, and I have a functional 100-page uh, grimoire. So I'm, I'm debating whether or not to do the same thing that I did with the Necronomicon and just uh, print and stick some artwork for the spells, because there's the cat spell, there's the uh, uh, youth spell, and then there's the um, the resurrection spell, uh, the three major spells that they use in Hocus Pocus. And you're probably asking yourself, uh, why go to the trouble of making a Hocus Pocus spell book when Hocus Pocus really isn't horror? Uh, it's more of a it, it's a Disney uh, Halloween movie. But uh, I've always considered after seeing Hocus Pocus, I've always considered the Hocus Pocus spell book uh, to be a sister to the Necronomicon Ex Mortis. I mean. They look, they both look like they're bound in human flesh. Uh, this one has an eye, of course, and it has, uh, the story in Hocus Pocus is that the sisters sold their soul for the book, uh, so there's that aspect, they sold their souls to the devil for, for the power in, in the book, so, you know, I, I always considered these two linked somehow, and, and now I have the Necronomicon Ex Mortis and the spell book from Hocus Pocus, and I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. I like the look, I'm real. I, 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 practice makes perfect, and I like how it looks like, like the skin with the wrinkles and everything. Um, what I didn't do, what I did differently with this one, because uh, this one looks a little bit more shinier than this one, is that uh, with this one I just gave it a coat of white glue and let it dry. With this one, I bought, I bought a car paint sealer. Uh, so it seals the paint, but it doesn't make it look that shiny, which I'm really happy. So I'm, I'm trying to, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm trying to perfect my craft when I do this, because, uh, I already have, uh, a, I promised to my good friend Clowny that I'm going to make a Necronomicon book for him. So I, I want to practice, practice because uh, I want to do something really good for him. So I'm really happy with how this turned out. The only gripe I have with it is it doesn't stay like that again I, I need to add either more pages or figure out how to make this this little thing uh, stick <laughs> so it at least sticks like that until I add the more pages I just have to buy a, another 100 page book uh, bind it glue it and then I'm done but uh, as an extra bonus um, I had a little bit more time so uh, I wanted to add one more evil book uh, to my Halloween library, and the last book I wanted to do was a Death Note. And a lot of people might not know what a Death Note is, it's based off a anime. Uh, and in this anime, or Japanese animation, um, in this world that the anime sets up, it's a world where there are Grim Reapers, um, uh, Shinigamis I think they're called, um, I don't remember uh, that well. Uh, but they're basically uh, Grim Reapers. They they go around the world, and when someone uh, is meant to die, they take their death note, uh, open it up, and then they just write the name of the person and how, and how they're going to die. And they die, and then they collect their souls. But one of these Shinigami are, is bored, and he's like, ah, I'm bored of doing the same shit. So he takes his death note and leaves it in the human world, where a human finds it, 
and then uh, becomes drunk with power because uh, he starts out uh, wanting to kill criminals, but then he's like, I am the god of death, and he goes insane, and, and it's a cat and mouse game because the police are trying to hunt him down, and he's trying to mastermind ways of escaping. So uh, all I did is I just painted a regular notebook uh, black uh, with some, I, I tried to do it with some black paint, uh, acrylic paint, didn't like how it turned out, so then I just grabbed a uh, spray paint, black spray, uh, black matted spray paint, and just did it that way, and it give, gives it a nice, uh, like, uh, beat up look that I like, and then uh, the first attempt, if you follow me on Facebook, you probably saw it, the first attempt I just grabbed a silver sharpie and just wrote death note, but I didn't like how that looked, because it looked too thick, so uh, I just spray painted it black again, and then with white acrylic paint, and a a brush. I just brushed in the death note, and I like it a little better. I like how it looks a a, a lot more. Um, stuff is falling. So I like how the title looks, and um, <laughs> I am a completely obsessive compulsive about the stuff I make. I want everything to look as good as and as perfect as I can. Uh, so that's why I redid the death note. But I like it because it's it looks more accurate to the anime. And to complete it, I added the instructions of the Death Note. Uh, I just printed out the instructions of the Death Note. Uh, they go on the first uh, tab here. And then I have a notebook that I can use to just write down uh, stuff. Uh, I probably won't write down people's names, cause <laughs> even though it's it's a fake name, the Death Note. You know, it's kind of power. But yeah, now I have uh, the third of the um, books from fiction that I, I, I liked. The Necronomicon Ex Mortis, the Hocus Pocus Spellbook, and now a Death Note from a really kick-ass anime. If, if, if you like supernatural like uh, suspense thrillers, I completely recommend Death Note. Watch the anime, don't watch the live-action thing that they did on Netflix, because that sucks. Uh, it sucks bad. <laughs> Watch the anime. Uh, it's in English, so you don't have to read any subtitles. But yeah, the Death Note for um, the Death Note series, which I like. I like how they've turned out. It's an easy, easy build. Just uh, paint the notebook black. Or if you can get a black notebook, you'll save yourself that problem. Uh, paint Death Note there, and then just print yourself the instructions and stick it in there, and you have a Death Note. So yeah, Death Note. Hocus Pocus, Spellbook, and Necronomicon Ex Mortis for my Halloween horror library. Um, I'm thinking what else I could possibly do as far as books, but I don't know of any other horror books that I would want to get. Someone recommended that I should do the, uh, the Spellbook from Charmed, the Book of Shadows, but I was never a big fan of Charmed, so no. <laughs> no, I don't think I'll, I'll do that. Uh, and there's no other grimoire or spell book that I can think of that I have any, you know, like, not interest in building, but any sort of, of fandom for. I mean, I, I, I like the Evil Dead series, I like Hocus Pocus, and uh, I like Death Note, so uh, from two TV series, from one movie, a TV series, uh, a movie series, a single movie, and an anime series, I think I... I got everything that I, I really want as far as, as spell books. If I think of something else, I'll record a video and share it with you guys. But I think I'm, I'm pretty good as far as, as books are concerned. Unless I go crazy and want to make the HP Lovecraft version of the Necronomicon. Because that's the Necronomicon, Necronomicon Ex Mortis. That's from Evil Dead. But uh, from HP Lovecraft, the the... Literally, art, uh, the literary uh, foundation for the Necronomicon, that's different. That's not bound in blood, bound in leather with some gold uh, things on the side and then a lock. Uh, so, you know, if, if I can find the time to do it, I'll probably find time to do that. But other than that, there's nothing else I can think of at this time. If there is, I'll, I'll post it and I'll make a video on it. But thanks so much for joining me in this odyssey of creating the uh, Hocus Pocus Spellbook. Uh, again, I'm, it, it, 
it's very difficult for me to say that I'm proud of something because I'm always finding flaws in the things that I do. Other people say, no, dude, it's, it, it turned out great, it looks good, but I'm always finding things that I can improve. Uh, but with this one I'm, and the Necronomicon X Mortis and the Death Note, I'm, I'm really proud of how it turned out. I'm not trying to show off that I built something, but uh, just that, that I'm proud that it turned out as good as it did. Because uh, I was genuinely afraid that it would look, turn out looking like shit. But, yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Uh, so, yeah, thanks so much for watching. If you have any suggestions for uh, another sort of uh, spellbook, grimoire, or forbidden tome that I could try to tackle, please leave it in the comments. Uh, but until I see you all again, uh, this is Vargas, recording from the Vargas Vault. Uh, still shielded by the power of the uh, power rings. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.